Welcome to the Macworld Podcast. I'm Roman Loyola. Joining us on the remote are Mike Simon and Jason Cross. What's up, fellas? Good morning. In studio with Leif Johnson. Hi. And the most important man in the room, our producer, Dan Masaoka. Good, Good morning, morning everyone. So, Dan's the most important man in the room because he's checking your uh, comments and questions on our Twitter and YouTube feeds. So, if you guys have any thoughts on today's topics, please let us know. Uh, today, we're talking about yesterday. Yesterday was the big Apple event, and Apple announced a bunch of new products. Mike Simon was actually there at the event itself. So, uh, yeah, so if you guys uh, have any comments or questions about what happened yesterday, uh, let us know, and we'll answer them to the best of our ability. So, um, Also, happy Halloween, everyone. Happy Halloween, everyone. Yeah. As you can see, happy we Halloween. all – I dressed up as a lumberjack. <laughs> <laughs> So, and I don't think anyone else dressed up. I dressed up as someone who's recovering from going to an Apple event three hours away yesterday and wrote four <laughs> articles about it. Well, we were, it was, the, the original talk was we all dress up or no one dresses up. Yeah. And yeah. then I was like, you know what? We should have told some person that we're all dressing up and then we don't dress up. So then yeah, at least we get that one, one good joke. Yeah. I think we could have tricked uh, Mike Simon. He probably would probably have been Possibly. the easiest. I, yeah. I, I, I might have. I don't know how how um, my uh, how good my costume would have been, but I would yeah. have done something. <laughs> yeah, if anyone in our audience got dr is dressed up right now, let us know what your what your costume is. Well, you're the so, only one with small kids, right? So you have to, are you, uh, aren't you going to get dressed up anyways? Uh, negative. I'm. Not, <laughs> I will take him trick or treating and do all the fun stuff, but I do not uh, dress up. You don't dress up anymore. <laughs> Doesn't we, happen. So. We dress up. We get a lot of kids coming in our house. We have we get like 120 trick-or-treaters every year wow, wow. so, That's so we, we don't we don't go do stuff but we put up some decorations and yeah we up. have we, we have decorations too but i'm not i'm not i'm not putting on a costume i draw the line we get five people <laughs> yeah, i don't get anybody i i usually go to my sister-in-law's house and they because they have a block party and then oh, Roman, cool. and then Roman goes trick or treating. So, so I say, hi. <laughs> well, actually, my son's going to a concert tonight. My oldest son, I think, is running around causing trouble. So, uh -oh. I, so yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with myself tonight. Really. <laughs> I think I'm handing out candy at my sister-in-law's house. So, all right, but I'm sure people don't want to hear us just talk about yes. Halloween all, <laughs> all podcast. They don't. Yes, this, welcome to the <laughs> Halloween podcast. We're talking about <laughs> what's your favorite candy? What's your favorite candy? <laughs> uh, Anyway, yeah, so yesterday apples. Apple had an event. Uh, they announced a number of products. And so Apple likes to save the big product for later. They start off, you know, they, they work to a big crescendo kind of, so to speak. But I think we should talk probably talk about the big product first, which is the iPad Pro, the marquee product that Apple announced yesterday. They revealed two new models. Uh, and... I think they pretty much held to what the rumors pretty much held true. I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. The only thing that I that stood out to me as I wouldn't say missing, but maybe like a misreported or, or misunderstood rumor was they they thought there would be this this strange magnetic back connector thing. Right. Yes. And, exactly. And there well, wasn't. There... There's just the edge where the 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 pencil, the new pencil, connects. And there's all kinds of magnets there's, to hold yeah, on the case. Yeah, there's tons of magnets inside. But there's not. Yeah. I mean, there's been magnets before. They just have more. But they're used to. They, they thought there would be near the USB-C port on the back. There'd be this sort of oval-shaped, new like smart connector for stuff, and that that doesn't appear to be true. Yeah, it would look bad the way it was. Yeah, we're not. I wonder. It would have looked bad. Yeah, it was weird. It was a weird yeah, idea. I guess we'll never know what the heck that really was. I mean, it's something yeah. internal, I guess. Yeah. Or something in a prototype stage that they abandoned, but um, yeah, they, there's, the back is just you know Flat. simple. Yeah. So there's an 11 inch model and a 12.9 inch model. Yes. Uh, with uh, no home button. Yep. Uh, no, no headphone jack. I'm sure that <laughs> makes everyone excited. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, as I There's said, no space. Yes. As I said in our Slack room, yeah. the, the other major product that Apple announced was the USB-C to headphone jack adapter. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, these these iPads. Which isn't there isn't one in the box, which is that's right. They don't include <laughs> <laughs> these uh, these uh, new models now use USB-C instead of Lightning. Mm -hmm. yeah. So is this the, mm -hmm. is this the pretty much 
the, the beginning of the end of Lightning, you guys Yes, think? I think it is, because I, I think by the next year's phone, we'll have a USB-C. I, I would no. hope so, but I don't... I don't, I don't think I'm not, so. Yeah, I think the odds aren't great, but I think... I would love it if they did that. Like, I would really I, love if the phones just went USB-C. I think Clark needs to do everything, so it'll be USB-C. It, 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 would be, it would be great, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think the reason why the iPad has it, and the other, I think, you know, Apple still has a Lightning iPad. So this yeah, is right. a pro feature. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I think is because of its, you know, its quote unquote computerness where you can, hook up, you can hook up a monitor, you can, you know, you can hook it up to a, to a phone and charge it, which is that, that that's an awesome feature, by the way, that, mm -hmm. that kind of went un, un, underreported, but you can plug in your phone to the iPad and it'll charge it. That's, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. They did but, the um, PC out. Yeah. Um, phone, you don't need the camera kit to, to hook it up right. to your camera your DSLR if you want to import you yeah uh, I wish 12 has a bunch of new photo importing juice and you know now you just plug it in your phone so yeah I think that's very much you a know pro external feature. hard drives and things like that like like there's there's cool stuff that I can do but I think Apple is going to relegate that to the iPad Pro and only the iPad Pro hmm. interesting I think we're at, yeah I think what Apple's doing is pushing us you know, it's finally taking it seriously. The, you know, USB-C is the future. Let's make it the future. And I think, you know, ultimately, once everything is going towards this, you, you know, we always make all these jokes about the dongles and stuff. I think this is, you know, helping us go in towards a dongle future, honestly. Yeah, it, it's possible that this is just part of a long-term transition. It starts it with is. the iPad Pro. Mm -hmm. Maybe the maybe next year the new high end iPhone gets it, but of course Lightning has to be around for all the other iPhones yeah. that still get sold, and the regular iPad. Maybe the next year after that, regular iPad gets it, and it starts to find its way down through the stack as Apple continues to sell last year's phone and two year mm -hmm. old phones and stuff like that, and it, that's the way it finds yeah. its way down. So it's this could be a, a five year transition or something. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, or it could just never happen. You know. But I've been in favor of it forever. I've been yeah, I agree. You know, I've been saying like just yeah, just, it's awesome. You know? it's awesome yeah. that they have it. And the uh, the display works. It's it's only Display Port, so you can't do USB C to HDMI, or at least that's what Apple told me. Oh. But um, but it works. You know, you just plug it in, and you have the option to mirror or to use it as a you know you can do separate stuff depending on the app. Like it just it just works. Mm. And that's something that we've seen, you know, there have been apps that do screen mirroring wirelessly. There are all sorts of weird little contraptions mm -hmm. to expand the iPad screen. And this is finally Apple saying, here you go. Mm -hmm. And that's, yeah. that's it. No, it's, it's, it's awesome for the iPad. Yeah. I mean, so are you guys generally excited about it? Um, or like, how do you feel? I'm a little curious about that uh, bump on the back for the camera. Because, oh, yeah. like, you know, if you have the new, you know, any of the phones that have that bump, it just kind of rocks a little. And that feels like, yeah. especially if you're drawing. Yes, I was going to say that for writing, yeah, when you're constantly, yeah, uh, that's that's going to be a different the, I mean, Apple wants you to buy a smart keyboard folio, <laughs> which will, yeah. I and mean, that's, that's, that's it. And, and it's almost like they... Not that they're doing it purposefully to sell folios, but they're they're not caring as much about that, you know, clean uh, uh, that that clean back because they make a case that eliminates it. Yeah, I kind of I, there's a trade off where if you want to put it flat on the table and write on it or draw on it or tap on it, it's going to have that rocking. But on the other hand, when you're holding it in your hand, every little bit of extra thinness when you have a really large object like yes. that mm -hmm. really helps. True, and they did make it a little bit thinner. Yeah, and it's less than it, less than six millimeters now. Yeah, and that's probably going to have a really good feel in your hand when you're holding it, when you're holding it with one hand, reading, whatever. Yeah. So I, I kind of don't know which way I go on that. I know that it, a lot of people get a case anyway. Like even if it's not the folio case, to get something because this is really expensive, <laughs> and yeah. that'll flatten out that that camera bump. I gotta say I that's why you, I started it, switching to a sleeve is because yeah. you know I do you know do do a lot of the writing by hand with it and I like that thinness. The closer I can yeah. get it to feeling like a piece of paper, I I can. So that's why I switched to a sleeve as opposed to a regular case. I just take it out. And, but we're you know, I mean we're talking about three tenths of a millimeter maybe. Makes I mean a it's difference. not you know it's not a <laughs> I suppose. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can tell you, I, I held both of them. I held the, the 12.9 and the 11, and, you know, they, they do. They, they feel great when you pick them up, almost to the point where I kept saying, is that the 11? Mm -hmm. No, that's the 12.9. Like, it's 
the the twelve point nine particularly because it's such a large screen and they took away the you know the 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 top and the and the bottom mm-hmm. uh, forehead and chin really kind of com- condensed it. It's it's you know almost like shockingly easy to hold for that size yeah. of the screen. It's 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 pretty great. I really hope next year's iPhones follow this industrial design with the flat sides. That would be cool. Yeah. Like I really I feel agree. I really like the I way like they it. look and I feel like they're gonna have yeah. they have a that's gonna have a really good hand feel. Yeah, yeah it does. It it does look. Uh, it, it looks a lot different and it feels a lot different when you're picking up. It's almost like, wow, this is an iPad because we've had that tapered edge forever. Yeah. yeah. So it, but, but once, you know, after you get past that 30 seconds a minute, it, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice look. It's very industrial. And yeah, I agree. It's a, it's a cool design language that it, w- it would look really nice on the iPhone X, whatever the heck is going to call. Well, I mean, that's, it's just going back to the design of, like the, the iPhone four, 5 for four, four, yeah, yeah. The you four, know, yeah. the SE yeah. and it's like oh, the, the, thin the first four without the band, so right. it's not new look. Well, newish. I mean, it's yeah. like where it's like if I wore bell bottoms today, we wouldn't be like, oh, that's uh, you know, that's a new look. It would be just a new look saying for you. Yeah, around the I don't side, think I could pull it off. Um, on Twitter, Enlightened Up says, I need a separate keyboard just for their phone at this point. Yeah. Um, and then Mark Paul on YouTube brings up a good comment. Um, it's built for creatives, but disappointed that we still don't have all caps pro apps after 10 plus years. Yeah. Why, I agree. This would be so easy. Why charge almost $2,000 um, for the model when creative apps like, a, you know, for quote you know creative apps like adobe illustrator I yeah, I mean, no we, they, we do have photoshop now which is you know they did a quick demo on stage and you know it's it's a full real deal photoshop on the ipad and then there was another there was another Maybe adobe app that i can't remember the name of now that was also you know powerful and there's a, there's a uh, yeah. no no there was a it was what the hell was it not the I, not the premier rush thing no, no, it was a, it was something they showed off yesterday, and and I can't even remember what the heck it does. Now. <laughs> and I'll just bring up the I have too many things. Yeah. yeah, and while you while you, while you try to come up with that, Ahi uh, Atitaz uh, or Ahi Zaz says, um, uh, talk about those bezels because I noticed that on the thing they go edge to edge, mm-hmm. and I'm like, yeah, it, not uh, really. What? Just don't edge don't, don't you don't need to say edge to edge. Just say you know. Thin bezels. Thin bezels doesn't sound as good. But. Yeah. Edge to edge is a synonym for we don't. They're not um, imbalanced with the home button anymore. Mm-hmm. Like an it's, even, it's, an it's even a, bezel. It's, it's symmetry all around. Yes. Yeah. Of some, same, of some even, large even size. Yes. They're not that large. I mean, no. it's if you look at the notch on the iPhone, like an iPhone 10 or 10s or something, where the notch is, that's kind of the size of the bezel all the way around on the iPads. Yeah. And so there is no notch because they can put the face ID stuff in there. They talked about how, hey, face ID is going to work in any orientation. That's good. Yep. Which I uh, tried that out, or I made the Apple rep try that out, and it definitely <laughs> works. Oh, cool. Yeah. You know, like we, I flipped it all over the place and no problem. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, kind of regarding the, the case, how does that work with the pencil? Uh, the uh, folio, you mean? Yeah. Is there like just like a little gap? Yeah, exactly right. Okay. Um, and I'm assuming uh, accessory makers will have the same thing where it's it do, the the cape doesn't the case doesn't wrap around the top part where the pencil goes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Orly brings up uh, on Twitter the question of you know where does the iPad now fit in in kind of the world against you know laptops? You still can use a mouse question. with it, so there's that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's changed at all. Yeah. But yeah. you know, it's a start towards maybe the next step. It's still an iPad. Mm-hmm. You still do the same stuff that you did with the right. with the old Pro. It just doesn't have yeah. a button. It looks nicer. It's, it looks nicer. It's more powerful. Yeah. But um, the the you know the pencil's more convenient. Apple's been pushing for a long time that for a lot of people, an iPad can be their computer. Mm-hmm. And but with the exception of just this being more powerful than a lot of thin and light laptops. That hasn't changed a lot, mm-hmm. <laughs> and it, it's tr- still true for some people, and it's still no, not true for a lot of people. They uh, inv- they announced a new laptop yesterday, so they're not giving up yeah. Yeah. a new thin and light laptop. So, uh, I I can't imagine living in a world where I don't have a laptop or a computer or a desktop computer well, and just, just doing it all on an iPad. Just as the other viewer was bringing up, 
you know, there's still apps that people depend on yes. on their laptops and desktops that you can't use on your iPad. And a lot of that, so. I think, is on the developers themselves, not Apple, but I don't know what's going on in the background there. But it's just like it took Adobe forever and a year. To, yeah, to, third, yeah, for third-party things. I mean, they should pick uh, how great Pixelmator is on the iPad, and it is. And that's that's kind of straddling that line onto a pro app. Mm -hmm. There's some pro audio stuff that people are doing on iPad now, but Logic's not on iPad. Final Cut's not on iPad. Xcode's not on iPad. This would have been a great opportunity for Apple to announce those things, even if they just were going to show them and say this is coming next year. Yeah, something. I mean, Xcode, I was I was shocked. When they put up that slide about pro apps, I thought for sure yeah. they were going to talk about that, but no. Um, I, mean, I know a, a lot a, of developers do. They want to open their Xcode project because they just need to make a quick fix or a change, you know? Oh, somebody found a bug. Oh, I know what that is. I need to just go in and fix that, whatever. Um, and they want to open that Xcode project on their iPad Pro and no dice. <laughs> yeah, I, I've had a article about this before. You know, I used the iPad Pro for about two years as my main work device, and it was kind of frustrating. Uh, knowing that, I think that one thing that's going to be nice about Face ID is, you know, it used to be every time it locked, you have to reach up and, you know, do the touch. Yep. I think that's going to make a massive difference having the, the Face Agreed. ID. Yeah. So Even that, just the way you hold it, like I always used to hold it mm -hmm. so I could get to the home button to go back and forth and back and forth. And now when I was using it yesterday, I just, I picked it up and it didn't matter how I held it. I held it in the most comfortable possible way. Mm -hmm and used it that's awesome so i it the, the lack of the home button on the ipad i think is an even bigger deal than taking it away from the iphone yeah what, uh, i'll say that like it, i also think a lot of this stuff's going to come in next year's ios update i think yep i think ios in the way that ios 12 kind of made the iphone 10 that much better like really come alive i think iOS 13 is going to have a lot of stuff that's really kind of tailored for these new, more powerful iPad Pros with no home button. Totally. Yeah. They're going to change a lot of it's, design it's, it's stuff. It's almost like they're a year ahead of themselves yeah. when it yeah, comes to right. iOS and the, and, and, and the hardware. Either that or they just don't want to tip their tip hand their hat, by like, yeah. you know, really, because they talk about iOS in the summer and they have, that, they have to have a long beta period and all that stuff. And they don't want everybody knowing, <laughs> guessing what hardware features are coming. Yeah, so, could be. So, yeah, I think there'll be a lot of just developer stuff, API stuff and low-level stuff and everything, too, yep. Yep. that's going to let people make it easier to make your iPad more of a computer for you. I just want not to have apps on every friggin' screen. Just give me, <laughs> give me, give me a, a, a folder or whatever you want to call it, please. Yeah. Please. <laughs> cool. So along with the iPad Pro, Apple uh, revealed the new Pencil. Uh, are they? What are they? Are they calling it the pencil too? Or are they calling, calling it? It's, just the it's just the Apple pencil. Apple, it's just it's Apple annoying. Pencil. Yeah, so everybody's second, calling it the Apple generation. pencil too, yeah. but it's like an SEO yeah. thing. Yeah. They, they yeah. call it Apple pencil, <laughs> just like they call it the MacBook. And then, like for inventory purposes, they call it like Mac MacBook Air. So you're late thing, 2018. Jason, yeah. You know that's that's internal inventory. So like pen, Apple pencil late 2018. Yeah. So. so I didn't catch them ever saying anything uh, in terms of improving things like pressure sensitivity nope. or tilt or anything like that. They never really talked about that in the first pencil. They never said how many levels of pressure sensitivity. I went and looked it up or tried to look it up. And everybody, it's guesswork, yep. right? Yeah. Um, it's just some new design. It's got, it now yeah. wirelessly charges and, and syncs with the little magnets on the side. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's got the a touch control on the side where you can double tap mm -hmm. to in, and slide up and down, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, uh, I, I think it's just a double tap. I don't just, know just, it's tap. just a double tap? There's mm -hmm. no sliding. Yeah, okay. Change tools and I'm going to I'm gonna go on record and saying that's a total freaking gimmick and no one's going to use that. <laughs> you, no. can, you can select a different brush or the eraser. As far as I know, that's the only function it does. Well, well they say you could customize it in other apps. Yeah. And, and I think if you uh, could... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, different apps. apps. Well, like uh, apps. Adobe showed them zooming in and out with the double tap. Yeah. Like, okay. And that, and then you say nobody's going to use that, but that artists have always told me. I mean, about five artists that I have talked with, professional, said that that's the main reason they prefer their Wacom tablet over anything else because mm -hmm. they do have those little buttons where they can just quickly switch between stuff. Uh, and, and if maybe it's, I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah okay. I think it's a great way. In, in on a lot of apps, it'll be like you double tap that to bring up your color wheel or you know whatever you know mm -hmm. they'll. It'll be user configurable or yes. something. Color um, wheel, eraser, all pretty useful. Yeah, brush yeah. sizes. So that'll be, 
that'll be the kind of thing that once the people get used to it. But yeah, the Wacom tablets have had a button on the side forever, and it's kind of brings them up to par with that. Yes. Um, the, one of the tricky things about this pencil, though, is it this new pencil only works with the new iPad yes. Pros and not with the old iPads. And the old Apple Pencil does not work with the new iPad Pros. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no way to pair them. Yeah, yeah. And, Which uh, I guess I guess it has to be that way because we're talking about different connections, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the way they did the pairing, like even if you were to charge your yeah. pencils some other way, mm -hmm. it pairs through the lightning port and there's no lightning exactly. port. Yeah, but could female it, lightning port. Yeah, with an adapter. Could You'd it, have to like make one because that would be a they'd female. They'd have to make one because there's no uh, female, yes. there's there's no USB <laughs> yeah. female lightning plug adapter. And then they'd be making that strictly so that you could that use That would be the, like the ultimate like... Yeah, uh, dongle joke. What, yeah. what what if you have to plug your old uh, your your old pencil into the mouse and then it just kind of sticks up and then you use the mouse <laughs> yes. together? Yeah. Maybe that's the way you have to do it. People are gonna, they <laughs> we'll try it. We'll try it, everyone. Yes. Yeah. So, right. so officially, that's the only. It's, it's a whole new break for the Apple pencil, and it's kind of annoying. I really hope that at least. Maybe the next year's base iPad. Mm -hmm. Like I hope we. I hope they don't go on for years and years with like keeping these two parallel lines of Apple Pencil going and stuff. Right. This is my idea. Well, I mean, this is the. This is this is the step. This is what I believe. This is the step towards this greater unity with USB C, and that was the way they worked around it. Remember, I was worried because you know if they made it where you charge it with USB C, that would require making the pencil fatter. I couldn't see them doing that. The, you yeah. know that they have char made it charge and stuff. I you know I was talking about that with the iPhone earlier. I believe that this is this mark a step in this direction towards making everything USB-C and making the phone wireless. And I mean, excuse me, the pencil wireless and magnetic was the only way they could get around with that with that yeah. particular device. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to say I think they're going to, the iPad Pro and the Mac will be the USB-C devices and the iPad, the $300 one. Mm -hmm. And the iPhones will be the Lightning devices, and I think they're gonna—that's the way they're gonna separate consumer and professional on the iOS devices. Yes, but we'll could see. be. But I think eventually, though, you're gonna that, have to have that pencil, pencil where it's you know, you know, because they were aiming that towards kids with the 9.7 inch iPad and stuff, you know, mm -hmm. for students and stuff Schools. like that. And so it's uh, you know, 29. Um, you know, you're adding 29 extra dollars on it, 30 extra dollars. And uh, that's eventually, I think they're going to have to flatten that. I, I wish Apple had given like a discount. This is what I, I wish. The, the price increases are kind of BS. I wish they dropped the price <laughs> a little bit on the old Apple Pencil and made this new one 99. That would have been. Yeah, sure. they everything's sure. more expensive. We should, yeah. we should yeah. point out yeah. the, the Pencil's 30 bucks more. The iPad Pro's price went up a good uh for 15 or 20 percent 200 dollars yeah two, well yeah 25 percent 20 percent um the macbook air which we haven't talked about yet that went up about 20 percent basically every product apple has introduced since the iphone 10 is just 20 percent more expensive now yeah and it, you know and it did the air everybody was talking about how this would be an inexpensive macbook yeah. <laughs> right yeah. In, inexpensive yeah i think that ran away with it i yes. think i think the rumor I mean, was trying to it say is, this is the it lowest, is cheaper than the MacBook, but it's right. It is their lowest priced. I, yeah, I, I, you know, I think what maybe they would say is, you know, the definition of inexpensive is changing now because the price of living is going up essentially. So yeah, but not everybody way, lives in California, it's, Apple. It's, it's just the price of living of, with your Apple products, right? Yeah, they're way <laughs> ahead yeah. of the inflation curve. So. Yeah, and they also, you know, we don't, we're not used to. If Apple raised their prices twenty percent every year, I mean, this is out of the, it's the, crazy. the spectrum yeah. of what's acceptable. I'm it's working like on an article for tomorrow. It's I'm weird. looking at these things, but it, yeah, it's, it's like they it's, just keep and, trying. And nobody, to, it's like they keep going up, and they go like, "Well, people keep buying them. Let's just go higher." Yes, like, that's what it seems like with the stocks too. I, it's almost like that's what they realized last year. Like, wait a minute, we can charge a thousand dollars for an iPhone, and people going to buy it. Let's charge that for the iPad too, and see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, the Apple Watch got 20% more expensive. Yep. Just everything. Everything's gotten 20% more expensive. And it's really right around that number. It's yeah, right around 20% right. for everything. And it's it's weird. Whatever makes the evenest 99 yeah. number that's close right. to 20% is what they did. 
Well, that's why I was saying it was it's their cost of some of them too. It's it's not either. Yeah, depending on the model, it's closer yeah. to twenty five. And yeah. also the the BTO options are out the free, out to lunch too. I mean, you get the top the top Mac Mini yeah. is yeah. forty two hundred dollars. That's to be to be fair. There's it's that's not as bonkers as you think because it is for that machine. Well, all right, because it's sixty it's sixty four gig SODMs. And it's a two terabyte SSD, and sure. those are what blows up blow up the price. Yes. Same with the MacBook Air, that huge SSD is the big big jump, and that's true on Windows machines and stuff too. Once you get a really big SSD, it goes crazy. Well, then um, why? At, then why all more modest like, things? Who's gonna buy that? Yeah, somebody's gonna buy it. I don't know why you need two terabytes in your Mac. <laughs> yeah. I mean, almost no one is gonna buy it, but yeah. they're just saying you can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why not take that money from someone? Yeah. Right. <laughs> you, I mean, you're way better off getting a 512 gig yeah. SSD or something and plugging in a Thunderbolt big storage drive or something. Absolutely. Now that they have those Thunderbolt plugs on them. Yeah. What were you saying, Roman? Well, I was going to say that this actually would kind of make a good point to kind of like transition over to the new Mac Mini, mm -hmm. which Apple's releasing. Uh, which is now is it seventy nine seven ninety nine at the yep. base price? From yeah, five hundred to, so. to eight hundred. Three yeah. three hundred dollars, a sixty percent increase. <laughs> so Apple's kind of changed the profile of the Mac Mini. It was seen as yeah. the kind of like introduction to the Mac machine, but Apple's now kind of changing that, and it's saying it's more of a. They don't outright it's say. It's a pro device. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's, it a, it's more of a pro device. They showed benchmarks with pro apps. They I mean, even came out with a, yeah. a little featurette on the on their website that highlights more creative uses. They've, yeah. They've really so. recognized that there's all these people who want a headless Mac. They don't want a, they don't want a small Mac because they want to plug it into a, a keyboard and mouse that they have for right. cheap to have a cheap Mac, uh, which was sort of the original Air purpose. They've realized that. The people using Mac Minis now, they want to configure some Mac that sits in a storage closet or something, right. and then runs and runs all the time. Yeah. They even brought up about yes. like big servers running mm -hmm. these things twenty four seven and stuff. So they yeah. want developers want build machines, or you know people want file servers and stuff like that, and they want so they've they've targeted at this high power thing. You can get six core, twelve thread versions right. with sixty four gigs of RAM. But if if you're getting what you need. It's gonna cost you thousands of dollars. I just don't know who's buying a Mac Mini for that purpose. Yeah, if you're if you're, all you want is a file server, you don't need to spend eight hundred. Exactly, exactly, exactly right. And if you want something much higher end, you're gonna go much higher end than a Mac Mini. Mm -hmm. It's not really appealing to either end of the market. Mm -hmm. And it's a very there's... narrow market that needs like a small, low power, headless, but very uh, low power uh, consumption, but really like high performance yes. <laughs> machine, uh, right? That's not yeah. a big market. No. And I believe and the it's also it's the same. They didn't. Th the, it's the same thing. Why did what took them four years to do this? Right. They didn't do anything to it except put some new stuff inside it. It's the exact same. Oh, it comes in space gray now. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's the same thing. <laughs> I believe the low end is really important. I wish they would focus on that more because, you know, that was the way I got introduced through Apple stuff sure. was through schools. And it was, you know, they had really agreeable, you know, plans in the past as opposed to giving you free Beats headphones or some stupid Particularly thing. Particularly since Apple is the most recognizable and by and large the coolest company in the world. Mm -hmm. Kids mm -hmm. want it. My, my son is seven. He has an iPad mini. Mm -hmm. Kids want it. Teens want it. College students want it. And Apple's saying... Guess what? We don't care. Pay for it. Right. Yeah. It's and I, I mean, yeah, I, this, I'm, I'm writing an article for tomorrow all about this, but it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, you're it's, keeping it's, it as like an a, aspirational brand. And the yeah. problem with an asp, I mean, aspirational brand has its benefits, but it also, mm -hmm. you know, it, part of the whole point of being something people aspire to means it's something that not everyone can get. Yeah. <laughs> and that's kind of a problem. Yes, it, it is. is a problem. And back when they were selling nothing and they were not broke, mm -hmm. I understood targeting the luxury. Okay, we're a niche company. We're going to target this segment, sell, you know, whatever number of Macs. But that's not the case anymore. After the iPod and the iPhone and the iPad, they're a consumer company that everybody wants. They're ubiquitous. Mm -hmm. they don't, they're selling yeah. 50 million iPhones a quarter. They don't need to make $1,000 or, or raise the ASP to 850 mm -hmm. to, to, yeah. to make a, 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 a tidy profit. Yes. <laughs> So, I, so you guys, so it sounds like Mike's hating on the price. I mean, 
I hate well, it too. It's yeah, not just I don't the think price they... of one thing. It's that the price is everything. It's everything. everything. Well, I mean, on the Mac Mini specifically, because I think yeah. you know, like from my experience, at least on the PC side, yeah. you know, if you we compare it to like you know Nooks, which is the you know stands for next you know computing, um, yep. or the you know their tiny PCs, it's pretty comparable. Yeah. So it's well, not except for graphics. Like, well, yeah, except for, graphics. Yeah, but the, except for the whole idea is expandability. They're they're catering to this this build your own PC market. And Mac Mini isn't that. Well, well either are Nooks. Really. Yeah, the Nooks, the, Nooks the, those little Intel boxes. Oh. They, they they basically <laughs> some of them. I think you can put it. You, you can, can swap you can the SSD, RAM. but yeah. it's mostly just the RAM, and you can do that on these. Yeah, it's I mean, not 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 easily though. The, you uh, yeah, they're just SO, I think they're it's, just SO dims, so you can yeah. They made a big deal about they're just SO dims now. So yeah, on the Nooks you can upgrade hard drive, you know, storage and RAM. But on you know the, the new uh, Mac Mini, it's just going to be RAM. Um, but then of course, yeah, the Nooks have a discrete GPU, but they're all using older um, Gen CPUs. Yeah, and they're so, a thousand bucks. So yeah, they're getting they're like an eight hundred. So it's it's comparative, but I feel like they're all just too expensive for the market. Do. Yes. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what the, people and, think. And the 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 what's the extent for the next unit of computing? Like that's not geared at you know a, an average person. That's a that's a that's an enthusiast thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Mac Mini isn't. Well, I and think Apple's it is trying now. to make. That's well, it wasn't. Saying. All right, fine. The 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 history of the Mac Mini. That's not what it's supposed to be. Right. And now they're changing it without really changing it, and saying, okay, now we're putting a whole bunch of crap inside it, and we're going to charge it sixty percent more. I don't know. And they're also leaving that space blank. Intel or, you know, Windows has tons of computers to choose from at lower price points. Yeah. Apple well, they're just, never going to abandon it. They never have. They, but they've well, never. Earlier this week, they had a $500 Mac Mini at least. At least they can get that. But even that, for the hardware that yeah, you, it was, it was you had in there, was not yeah. worth $500. But at and... least they were trying to serve that segment of the market. Yeah. I mean, the whole claim that this is a pro product. Yeah, is that's uh, what pro is going to use it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's, We've it's, said that before this is even announced. Yeah. Well, you know, if you've got if you've got your Thunderbolt <laughs> display, you know, 4K Thunderbolt display and you have, you know, a Apple keyboard and stuff already and an eGPU then... and all this other stuff. And <laughs> well, you're now spending like two thousand dollars. All that if you're a programmer, you don't care about an eGPU. Like if you're just running Xcode and stuff. Right. Or if you have a you want it as a build machine in your closet. So it's like I said, there's a market for this, but it's narrow. It's these people who just want to they want to set up a thing yeah. that's gonna run <laughs> that needs performance and then it's gonna run code sitting in like a, a closet somewhere. <laughs> they not, Apple could have easily weird. made a five hundred dollar Mac Mini and an eight hundred dollar yes, Mac Mini. Everybody would have been happy. They could have. And, Instead, well, they, they just said, well, because well, it I mean, doesn't I, fit their mantra of everything has to cost $200 more now. <laughs> See, no, no, okay, I know this is like a, like a weird comparison to make, but you know, Apple's all, you know, doing its stuff. It's like the shining night of privacy and everything. And, you know, to me, they're putting it, that's great and all, but it's to me, it's putting off that, you know, that's the privilege that you have the, you know, pri- privacy and sure. stuff. I mean, yeah. it's, a, when, it's, a, it's a right for luxury item. Exactly. Sure. And yeah. especially in this age, you should be yeah. saying, you know, that we want, you know, we if we really are, worried about all y'all's uh privacy and stuff you know you know make it more accessible for everybody instead of just rich people and half-life yeah. on on youtube is saying uh that they're a developer and they are buying the mac mini um why would you why well, I, I mean do you consider developers pr- like pros yeah, in in this regard yes. yeah, yeah apple would. certainly does yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's no question about that yeah it's a i think it's a great xcode machine Right. For developers right. who, I mean, they've got piles of keyboards and monitors. They need more build boxes to run Xcode and run to, and make software builds and stuff. It's going to be great for that. That's I don't think that's a. It's kind of a weird. It's that market's not huge, huge, right? There are plenty of developers, but like, how many Mac Minis are they going to sell? Yeah. It's not. Well, for this sort of consumer creative event they had. I guess they had to put it somewhere. I mean, they also showed those kind of photos, or was a video of like the racks with tons. Yeah. Like how 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 legit is is that as like? I'm sure that there's one company in the country (laughs) that has it, and Apple went and took a picture of it. Yeah, (laughs) that's that's got to be an anomaly. That's not common for sure. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, for all we know, that that's their own data center. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, they're going to sell, you know, a thousand Mac Minis. To, to that sort of data center operation and then 
or you know server farm thing <laughs> but it's gonna not... be the whole thing <laughs> yes. like what is the point is it just to like run you know like if you can't virtualize a whole bunch of mini ones is that is that like essentially what they're trying to do with that or it may still be running virtual machines but it's if you need um if you need sort of ox 10 unix based servers for some reason it's extremely space and power efficient it's true. And they're, the cooling is really good and stuff. They don't run really hot and stuff like that. So you can put a bunch of them in a rack. Like Apple doesn't make servers anymore. <laughs> so, right. so you you know, essentially, if you need if something that cannot be run on a Amazon cloud server or something like that, if you need it to run OS 10 for some reason, there you go. Yeah, I mean, I'm super. Like, I just feel like this. The Mac Mini was the great. Um, point in which you can convert a lot of Windows PC users mm -hmm. because they already have mice and keyboards and all that. Mm -hmm. And you just say, hey, you know, you can just swap out your tower right. with this that was the old for $5.99 yeah, or $4.99 before. Didn't work. That was that the was, old intent. Yeah. It, was, it was for switchers. Yeah. Yeah. It was for your grandma. It was like an easy way to do that. But they that what ended up happening is, number one, the entire market switched to, to notebooks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then when it comes to a desktop, people just buy an iMac. Yeah, they don't, they don't mm -hmm. care about their old existing monitor or any of that stuff. They don't need that. They just want to buy it. They just buy an iMac. So nobody really was. They weren't snapping up switchers with the Mac Mini. Maybe when it was first introduced, but it's been a. It's even so, though it's been not been updated in a long time, even longer than that. It's just not been a device for switchers. So then here's a question: Why? Why are they bothering at all? I was yeah, wondering exactly. that myself. Yeah. I, I kind of feel like it. It, it Mac was it was it that that that, that one email that Tim Cook uh, <laughs> uh, replied to, and he's like, "We got to make this for this guy." <laughs> God. Yeah, I don't know because I believe it. You know, they should have had that low end as well as the, the higher stuff that they're doing. Yeah, because yeah. then I would have been more prepared to answer that question. But then they would have only sold the low end one because I think there's so many people who just. Uh, of these pro set users that they're fine just having like for a file server or something and they're just gonna buy the cheapest thing possible because it's gonna plug into external file sure thing yeah. big, big external drive so yeah it's weird that they're making it a high-end system yeah. yeah and high end without a graphics with discrete graphics yeah right. with discrete graphics. yeah without discrete graphics like i feel like if they at least had discrete graphics at that price i'm like okay that i could i could get on board with like yeah that'd be would, a great alternative yeah. to a nuke that'd be a nuke, nuke. basic wow, gaming <laughs> yeah it's way cheaper um, yeah all right <laughs> strange what else did they announce? So right. MacBook Air. Yeah, MacBook so Air, Apple also, which, is, which is equally confusing. Yeah, but so. <laughs> so Apple also released a new MacBook Air. Uh, it's available in three colors now. Uh, yeah, the, shocking. It's, it has a, the <laughs> similar, in terms of the profile, it still has like the tapered profile. Uh, yeah. But open it up and it, it, has, it features a, a pretty, it, it's, it's a new design. It's a MacBook. Mm -hmm. It's not a new design. It's a MacBook. Yeah. yeah it's, 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 they, <laughs> They talk it look, about it, looks it as just a, like a MacBook when they you talk open about it. it as a huge With upgrade to the MacBook USB Air, and it, it, it is, yeah. and they call it a MacBook Air. But what it really is is they took the MacBook and they go, "12 is too small." Yeah. Mm -hmm. make it 13.3 3 and add a second Thunderbolt 3 port. And right. of course, you know this year's GPU. They update the GPU last year and update the GPU again this year. And if you look at it that way, it's not so bad. They're right. The the MacBook was too small. It was underpowered. The entry level one was underpowered. That Core M processor was garbage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one Thunderbolt pro port was stupid. <laughs> like you yep. plug in, if yeah, you're yeah. charging, you can't do anything. Uh, and um, yeah. and it was expensive. It was, was twelve ninety nine. So and this is a hundred bucks cheaper than that. For, for so compared to the old MacBook, it's not the old MacBook. Up. It's the current MacBook because they still sell it. <laughs> Right, that's true. Uh, compared to the MacBook, which makes no sense, um, I, they still sell the old MacBook Air. Well, that's a thousand dollars. That's I get that. That's cheaper. Yeah. That's an option. Yeah. This is a hundred dollars more than the that's mini. True. That's true for the mini Core Air. M for a lower processor, smaller screen, less than le less uh, ports. Yeah, and no Touch ID. Mm -hmm. Like what? Right. <laughs> so they yeah. Why would you buy? Don't don't buy a MacBook. Never I mean, buy a. a what MacBook. you have to have it an inch smaller? I mean. <laughs> 
Um, so, so it's like it's a big leap for the MacBook Air, but that's yeah. only because they called it a MacBook Air when what it really is is a larger MacBook. Yes. Um, I don't and, know and why they didn't just say, "Here's the a different MacBook." Like, well, why are they making? I do really think it has really the the power because people think. Yeah. So the funny thing is, on the MacBook Air website, the first yeah. photo of the MacBook Air has a MacBook Air label on it. But then if you look at the other machines, they just say oh, MacBook. He's right. Well, get out of here. He, it's true. They, they, use the same, they use the uh, same photos? You say uh, label, do you it's mean whatever like render. The like the little thing under the screen. Yeah, the, yeah, the label under the screen. What, so whatever render they created for, to yes. use with this, they, they forgot to update All it. All the rest of them say MacBook. Yeah. So. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, calling it MacBook Air, I think, is was purely a marketing ploy. We, yeah, we they want to keep that our name. prediction. We thought, you know, there's no nothing else is the Air anymore. There's no iPad Air or anything, uh, and it makes sense to have the MacBook and the MacBook Pro, like you have the iPad and iPad Pro and stuff. So we thought it would just be called the MacBook and we'd replace both the Air and the existing MacBook. Right. And weirdly enough, they said people love the Air too much. Let's call it MacBook Air, and which would have been fine if they got selling. rid of the MacBook. Yeah, or, also, or lowered the price to eight ninety nine or something. I think they are. I think they're gonna. I think. The, ex the MacBook and the old MacBook Air are still on sale, but that's just for a couple of months. Those are just going to get retired. They should have cut the if they would have cut the price of the MacBook to nine ninety nine and eliminated the old Air, that would have been perfect yeah. in my mind. That would have been better. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So there's a question on uh, on Twitter. Uh, did you get a chance to feel the new butterfly keyboard, Mike? Yes, I did. It's not the macbook pro new one with i can tell you that for sure no with that with the membrane i didn't, I didn't I think did it not would be. as i typed i did not feel that the semi membrane it was yeah it, it didn't have that that bounce that the new macbook has this was very clacky and very loud I, so it is that that MacBook, yeah. <laughs> I find that on the new macbook pro I, I found that that membrane is basically unfeelable like you can have I, it's when, I, when I tested it versus my current MacBook Pro, I felt a difference. Oh, dude, I totally, yeah, you know, it was big, Dan has it, you know, I, I had it, you know, I have a 15 inch 2017. Yeah. It's a massive difference. It I think feels so more too. comfortable. It feels more this, like the old this, Air keyboards closer. This is the same as the keyboard I have on this MacBook. It's 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 clicky clacky loud. The, the, the travel's different. Mm. I, they call it their third generation keyboard, which is the and one I that asked, they put the membrane and stuff on. I double checked with the guy I was talking to, and he, he also said third gen. But I don't know. Something felt different to me. Maybe I, I could, yeah. if I do a, if I do it side by side, maybe maybe it was just the way my fingers were yesterday. I don't it's, know. Either way, it's not the old chiclet keyboard that everyone loves. No, mm -hmm. definitely not that. <laughs> it's you're down to your low profile, it's, like it's artificially loud clacks. Absolutely. Stuff. Yes. Now, yeah. This is weird, you know, talking about the 2017 models. I actually prefer writing on the 12 inch MacBook butterfly keyboard than over the 15 inch. The keyboard, mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's flight. I, I can't really describe it, but it is more satisfying to write on that. So I'd be interesting to compare the 12 inch MacBook compared to the Air. Yes. It is more satisfying to type on. Yeah. Right. And they're back to the, the force touch. Trackpad, which yeah, means that was the nice. That tra was nice. Trackpad doesn't travel. It's, People don't it's hate big that. It's nice yeah. and all. I, I, I that, that I like. I prefer the the force touch. Yeah, it has it's, good it's, force it's feedback. Bigger, and... It's bigger on the air. It, it, listen, it was a nice. It's a nice. It's a really nice machine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For for twelve hundred bucks, you're getting a really nice new Mac. The the the, the finish is gorgeous. The, it's it's light. It's small. It's a it's it's a really nice improvement over the MacBook Air. It just Apple's laptop line, they're low. It's just very confusing. Yeah, yeah it's just it's, it's going to be starting at twelve hundred dollars. Like once the old MacBook Air, which is way overpriced at nine ninety, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> even at nine ninety nine, is, yes, is way is. overpriced. Like yeah. once that goes away, you will not be able to get a MacBook, a Mac laptop, and let's face it, ninety percent of the market's laptops. Like you will not be able to get a Mac laptop for less than twelve hundred dollars, and that's oof, that's that's a, a tough lot. pill to swallow, man. That's a lot. Yeah, I agree. I'll say this: the l entry level model is not terrible, though, mm -hmm. in the sense that it. I wish it had more than a 128 gig SSD mm -hmm. for 1,200 bucks. Yep. That seems kind of kind of crummy, but you know, eight gigs isn't bad uh, for most. That's another thing about the iPad too. Uh, that starts at 64 Four. gig, not 128 mm -hmm. for 800 dollars or thousand uh, yeah. dollars. 
that's that's a little that's 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 pretty small. Yeah, much for pro. <laughs> Considering, I mean, yeah. iPhone you can maybe get away with it. iPad, you know, you're dealing you're dealing with different different sized apps and mm -hmm. more of them. And I wish you know. they had had a processor upgrade mm -hmm. option. You get this weird Core i5 that I think I think I actually found what model it is. I think it's an 8210Y, which is like this weird off. Yeah. So off the charts model that, <laughs> that that Intel has, but a Twitter user thinks they found it, and I think they're right. Um, I think that's what you get, but it's you know it's not a bad. I wish there was a quad core option, or, or at least a Core i seven option or something, and there isn't. Mm -hmm. It every no matter what build your own you do, that's the processor. But oh, they're okay. not doing this garbage Core M thing, yes, or anything yes. anymore, or really low end, you know, one point three gigahertz. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's a decent processor, you know, for a thin and light laptop. And it's going to have great battery life because that's like a five watt TDP <laughs> processor. So but it's going to be, forever. yeah, it's going to. Yeah, gonna they, they said they said 13 hours of video watching, which is that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And 12 of web, which yeah. all the current, the MacBook, the MacBook Pros <laughs> all say 10. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's it's more than any other Mac laptop. Their specs are. We'll we'll test it, but yeah, yeah. it should be great. Yeah, and it has two Thunderbolt US slash USB Yay. ports. Yes. We can yeah, charge and listen to music. Oh no, it, it has a it has a headphone jack. It has a headphone jack. Yeah, it has a headphone jack. <laughs> yeah. I wish the the ports were on opposite sides. Mm -hmm. Yes, because like sometimes you want to plug your to All charge. You need to plug in the right. other side. Or you have something that's on kind of a minor thing. Yeah. yeah, they they look like they're far enough apart that it's not going to be like oh I can't plug in my charger and a stick or something mm -hmm. i think that'll be okay but yeah. i agree yeah. the the opposite sides though um that would be nice. i prefer like that. you wouldn't you wouldn't think about it when you're buying it but it, it really matters yes it does quite, a, mm -hmm. quite often <laughs> yeah and on youtube demetrius is saying what do you maybe the 12 inch macbook uh will be the first arm based macbook so they won't yeah. get rid of it mm. That could be. I mean, down the, down the line, that. sure. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're still a year yeah. or two away from that, yeah. Yeah, I think we could see, like, the 12-inch MacBook getting the old MacBook Air treatment where it doesn't get updated for mm -hmm. a long, long time. That, that's that's Apple's MO these yeah. days, right? Yes. They, they yeah. pick one Mac. They, they, they anoint one Mac to be updated, and they left the other three uh, sit there. Right. Except for the Pros. The MacBook Pro is the only line that they really consistently update okay. on a semi-annual basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's their top-selling computer. Yeah. 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 So, well, part yeah. of the reason it's their top selling is because it's old and outdated. I mean, they even yeah. said everybody loves the Air the most. That's mm -hmm. the one everybody wants. Yeah. That's what people, I mean, they still, even though it's a thousand bucks for essentially a four year old computer, people yeah, are still was, buying them like crazy. That was kind of the underlying joke in my head yesterday. Like they started that presentation with here is the, the notebook everybody loves and here is the um, desktop everybody loves, but we haven't upgraded them in like uh, like half a decade. I know. So here you go. <laughs> and, you know, as my, I do actually like, you know, Apple's new keyboards, but the, the Air, I would say one reason it is so popular is because of that keyboard. And I, I was yeah. really surprised they the new, went in the direction they the did. The thin uh, keyboards. They're so damn stubborn with that stuff. Yeah, yeah me, the, the little silicone membrane covers are not, the new keyboards are not popular. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's, and they used to be the best keyboards right. on any laptop. Like everyone agreed. Indisputable. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, but that was that was before they went to the butterfly design. I think that's what right, I mean. Right, yeah, right. yeah, that's what I mean. The pre butterfly design and the MacBook Air was the last uh, holdout. Mm -hmm. That and the the desktop keyboards, the keyboards you get with iMacs, yeah. still have. Those are feel good. Yeah. Yeah, you know, also... and they're quiet. They're so much quieter. Yeah, that's that's the big thing that I I prefer is the like I was typing last night at I don't know nine o'clock at night trying to get one last thing done, yes. and my wife's watching TV and she's like, "Are you almost done?" <laughs> because it's so loud. It's yeah. like that whenever we're in the conference room having a yeah. business meeting. Right. Like you can tell who's typing on a Mac. Yes, like yeah. that. Like yeah. oh totally. my god, totally. I can like, hear it on the phone. <laughs> Depending on who's closest to the speaker box, you can hear it. Yeah. And yeah. Apple's never going to admit they messed up on this. Yeah. No, they're, they're no. never going to go, oh, they, people they, love this. Let's, they're, they're like, no, it saves us a yeah, half double, millimeter double of Z height. On it and everything else. <laughs> they don't care. Yeah. Well, I'm, I, I'm willing to bet they're 
fervently working on a new keyboard mechanism and design that is going to yeah. be thin, but not loud and feel better and stuff like that. And then they're going to, when they announce it, they're going to be like, everybody loved our butterfly keyboard. And now we've made it even better with this new thing. You know, yeah. it's only, only, only things get better. There's never any mistakes in Apple. I don't know if Apple's fervently working on anything Mac related, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, I bet they <laughs> Certainly there's the Mac pro coming next year. Yeah, are they just, fervently just, working? Just in your head, <laughs> picture I'm, the, Mac, I'm, the I'm trash can cons- Mac Pro and what it costs, and then at twenty percent, and then let your head explode over how. I'm also a little concerned after <laughs> after seeing the Mac Mini, which was essentially this not essentially it's the same design with some new stuff. I, mm-hmm. Like, are we sure this Mac Pro is really going to deliver? No, we are well, not. You know, a, a total change. We're, we're not certain of anything on that. Regard. Yeah. No. What if they give us another trash can? People yeah. will boo if they do that. Yeah. They, they will owe, that. they will drown out the clappers. Yeah. <laughs> I speaking of booing, I was shocked at just how hyped this crowd was. Oh like my I God. know they always I have their believe, cheering section of Apple it. people in their things to like hype up the crowd yeah. and cheer and stuff. But it's it was absurd. way overdone. I said to myself, so I like literally the day before I went to a OnePlus event, I've been to Google, I've been to Samsung, I've been to LG, I've been to Huawei, I've been to a ton of these. Mm-hmm. And this was like being at a concert. <laughs> yeah. Like they got an extended applause break for recycled friggin' aluminum. I'm, yeah. I'm talking about like a 10 second applause. It is Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, it's Brooklyn. I was gonna um, say. And, and honestly, that is a really good thing. Both that sure. both the no, both huh, the Mac polite, Mini polite and applause. The, yes. I yeah. mean, it was it was it was wild. There were people in in other, I, you know I was sitting with the journalists because they they had it arranged by badge. Yes. Yeah. And they were like audible gasps, and I'm like, what are like. What is this? <laughs> yeah. But just, I mean, just when Tim Cook came out, for example, just like it was this Crazy. huge rock star yeah. greeting. And I, I guess they just, the the Apple employees, New York, because they always stuff some at their yeah, Apple I'm pretty sure that's most of them were. Yeah. And stuff. And I, I guess they were just like, thanks for coming to New York instead of having this yes. in California or something, because they were. They were uh, excited. The whole, the whole thing was was Crazy. just amped up, and I can tell you, man, it, I don't know what the hell kind of training these people go through, but <laughs> every single Apple person I passed made eye contact with me and said, "Thanks for coming. How you doing?" Everyone. Wow. Yeah, that's what it I was do. remarkable. Yeah. <laughs> no, at the Chicago event, there was literally an Apple person every twenty feet. Yeah. yeah. So if you walk down a hallway, you would see about. Two dozen Apple so much for privacy. ushers and T-shirts about every twenty feet, and they all say hi to you when you're walking, and you're walking down the hall, and they're like, "Hi, hi, welcome, thanks, yeah. thanks for coming." But, but not, no, no, not just hi. They're like, "Hi, right, thanks for coming." Like yeah. they were like totally like, "That's what Whoa. they do." Yeah. So. Like they freaking cheered when you walked into the hands-on area. It was it was it was wow. wild, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you ever, if anyone's ever been to like an an Apple store opening or like, like when, yes. you know, when they, when the Apple store employees stand there and cheer you coming inside, it, 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 there's a little bit of that element to that when you go to an Apple that. event. Yeah. yeah. So. And I was there like an hour early cause I didn't know what the traffic was going to be from Manhattan to Brooklyn. And like, you know, they're coming up like, are, are you okay? Are you warm enough? Like yeah, it was like, yeah. it's like, but it was so like crazy friendly. <laughs> Did you ask him like, well, my fingers are cold. Can you hold my hands? And just, <laughs> just see what, see what happens. Yeah. I was I I I should have asked them for one of their jackets. They they all have magic jackets. Yeah, they all have event jackets. So they all have event gear that they wear for and that they, particular they event. Down, yeah. They shut down the streets around Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn, which if anyone knows, that's a major area for commuters. Yep. And they shut it down, you know, all day from six AM, I guess. I was there at seven thirty and it was shut down wow. to I left at almost four and it was still shut down. I mean that's like Brooklyn, the, 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 I don't know what they, you know, the, you obviously had to pay the cops and everything else and, and, and the yeah. city fees. Man, only Apple could have that level of attention and, and just ability to just close down yeah. a major thoroughfare in a city with, you know, like concrete barriers to stop cars from coming. It was nuts. Wow. Uh, tell I me. That on, I left too quick because I wanted to get to the hands-on area and then get out of there and write. And apparently they gave out stickers. I missed it. <laughs> on, on YouTube, it says, uh, "I notice a floth 
a moth flew across the screen and half the audience went wild. <laughs> I, I missed that if that, if that actually that. happened. It, that, that maybe the butterflies and the Adobe thing was that what they're talking about? Uh maybe. I mean, I I thought that was kind of neat. So it was. No, they, I mean, yeah. it was it was fine. Apple today at Apple mm-hmm. got an extended applause. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I you guess were... that's because they were Apple Apple workers in the in the audience. Yeah. I think it was because yeah. they were th- the New York staff was there. Yeah, the Apple stores. Yeah. I guess, but it was just wild. I couldn't. I just couldn't get over how. First of all, how well run it was. Uh-huh. Like there was no mob to get in. Everybody was very orderly. It started exactly on time. You know, it was it it it, it, it all ran very smoothly. But mm-hmm. just the, the the attention to every single possible detail was just was just mind boggling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're they're an experience to go to. Sure. So yeah, sure. So, um, um, before we go, I want to go over the scores oh, for, for, yes. for you guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, Give us, and then and then we'll go over some last yes. kind of questions. So, so just to fill pe- people in on what what you're about to do here, Dan. Yeah. Uh, well, so yeah, what is it that you're about so, to do? We, yeah, on last week's <laughs> podcast, we kind of predicted all the things that they might announce and whether or not they would announce it. Oh boy! Yeah. Um, and so we, you know, we went through kind of all the things, and I'll just go over where you guys went wrong. Um, and <laughs> so in, positive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in last place, Roman with minus four. Yeah, he, he said, took a fall uh, on a couple of those. He did. He went. He he, he went solo on on air power. Being a yes, yeah. uh, AirPods two being a yes, um, IMAX being a yes, and then also on an Apple display. Oh, I said yes. Okay. On Apple yeah. yeah, yeah. And then tied in second is uh, Mike and Leif because uh, Leif went yes We're on never AirPods two. This from Jason. Uh, <laughs> no, I know which one I missed. And then uh, Ro- uh, Mike went yes on the iPad Mini. Um, and both of you I was, went. I was surprised they didn't update that, even with just rudimentary specs. I would, I thought I'm for not. sure. Mm-hmm. And then both of you went yes on IMAX. I still well. say the i the iPhone is the iPad Mini now. <laughs> and then Leif said no to an entry level Mac laptop. I did. Well, yeah, well, I, that's actually technically correct. <laughs> well, I, it depends on what we consider. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then Mike went yes on an Apple display as well. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And the Jason in first place only got one wrong, and said yes to IMAX. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say yeah. I'm still shocked that um, they didn't come out with a thousand dollar display for the iPad. I'm shocked. Yeah, to kind of show oh. off the USB. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, that's that's coming with the Mac Pro. Maybe so. Yeah, that's true. That's totally yeah, it could be, be a, a Mac, Mac Pro, Pro thing. That's true. Yeah, um, they've announced they're working on one. Just like the Mac Pro, they said, oh, and it's coming way in the future. So, I yeah, think yeah. that would have been too much. Here's your really yeah. expensive Mac Mini, and look, you can buy a $5,000 monitor to go with no, it. No, no, I mean, yeah, I mean, that, yeah, that, that would have been too much, but they could have come out with like a $1,200 one, 4K or something. They, they, they're not going to do that's that. That's doable. <laughs> yeah, but they're not going to come out with They're going to come out with a, with a 42-inch 5K it'll, monitor for five grand. It'll be two grand. The, the yeah. Mac, new Mac Pro monitor, will be, it'll be 5K, two grand. It'll be a lot like... Whatever they'll put, whatever the next generation of the 5K iMac screen is, they'll put that in a display housing. Yep. Uh, hopefully, they'll add variable refresh rate stuff, but that's that, that's what the Pro display is yeah. going to be. Yeah. And it will match the, iMac, the new Mac Pro and everything. We could still uh, see iMacs. Apple has, in the past, gone as far as late November to up- sure. update their mm-hmm. iMacs. So we could sure. still see iMacs. They just... There was one stealth upgrade. The they announced buried the Mac, in the, the MacBook Mac, Pro, yeah. Buried in the right. MacBook Air press release, they announced that in about a month the MacBook Pro is going to get Vega graphics. Yeah. They're going to switch from that Radeon Pro 580 that to a Radeon Pro Vega which would be nice. Yeah, it, it needs it. It needed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that was a yeah, comment be- Mark had on on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's two more quick ones since you answered that one. Um, one is when will Apple AirPods, t- in the next one, be released? Do you have any thoughts on that? And then also, uh, why would Apple bump up the pricing on the Mac Mini and then also allow you to buy aftermarket memory? Um, you know, to when they could be making that money by just forcing you to buy theirs. I don't think most people do buy aftermarket memory. Yeah, I agree, and it's not as upgradable as 
you think yeah. like you still they still recommend taking you to a service with specialist to do it it's yeah. not just a door and you pop it in mm-hmm. you yeah to take off the whole thing and you got to know what you're doing yeah so but um, SODs are pretty easy and calm. yeah 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 for uh, for uh you know i guess for the people who would buy the the mac mini yes it's pros it's, i mean pros are buying it. i saw the interior it looks you know decently if you're if yeah. you're Thinking about the, probably the 32 gig or more mm-hmm. model, you're probably better off buying the least amount of RAM you can mm, and then yeah. buying aftermarket RAM. Yeah. But for the most part, I think people aren't, they're not concerned about it because it's not a big thing. People don't upgrade their laptops and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, they don't, it's yeah. not a thing right. uh, that much. Well, uh, AirPods, AirPods, I'm going to aim for spring now. At this yeah. Point. yeah. I, so they've got all this TV stuff. We've said this on the podcast before. They've got all these TV shows that we know about because. The Hollywood press talks about who got cast and stuff, right. <laughs> but they and who bought the options for some book and whatever. But Apple has not announced them, so they've got they've got thirty TV shows or something in the works, and spending like two billion dollars <laughs> on, and they haven't announced a single one of them. <laughs> and uh, so there'll be a big deal when they do that, and yeah. that'll also be a great time to do other media stuff. Like we hear about these over the ear headphones, if they do that. Mm-hmm. That'd be there. AirPods too. That'd be there. That'd be a great time to do all that. They could do all that in their March event. That would be my guess. Yeah. That's what. Uh, speaking of headphones, the the little Lana Del Rey performance was a fun surprise yesterday. <laughs> a little a little out of place since there was not a men- like there was no real music. It's not, it wasn't a music event There's or an iPod. Or an iPod music, yeah. yeah, but that was that was cool. It was funny that um, so she has two songs. Or, or, or she played two songs, but one of them is called Venice. Uh, can I can I curse on this? Yeah, just do PG-13. it. PG thirteen. Uh, no, just yeah, go right. for it. It's called it's it's called Venice Bitch, and Apple wouldn't let her say the name of the song, uh. so she had to censor it when she sang it. She uh. sang in Venice Chick, uh. and she said this is just called Venice. Yeah. And, uh, nor she, nor could she say the name of her record that's upcoming. I have to look it up. I think there's a there's a there's an F word in there somewhere. Uh-huh. I forget what it's called. But it was funny. She made a point. She's like, Apple won't let me curse. And this is yeah. now, this isn't broadcast. This is just a, an event, yeah. like live streamed. And they still sell, Lord knows what these shows are going to be like. Oh, yeah. these shows are going to be. If you can't say bitch on a live stream, like, these geez, shows are going to be the most sanitized things ever. Only what you can show, <laughs> would, could show at prime time on like NBC. Yeah. Right. Even that, I don't even know if it's even going to get that bad. It might yeah. be even more, more, less than that, like Nickelodeon. Yeah, it's going to be Nick level. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they kicked off the event with the song uh, 100 Miles and Running, but yeah, they smartly stopped it before the, the F word pops up. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> so. Well, that probably that just about does it for this week's episode of the Macworld Podcast, episode 628. Uh, tune in next week. We'll probably have some. We're hoping to get hardware in soon. Mike's actually working on an iPhone. 10 r review so uh yeah but so we'll probably talk about that in an upcoming podcast but uh keep an eye on the website to see what the topics are for next week's podcast we broadcast on wednesdays at 10 o'clock pacific time live on twitter and youtube by the way we so, have a giveaway oh, right now <laughs> we almost forgot we yes. almost forgot about the giveaway yes so. you know we were talking about <laughs> eGPUs and stuff um yeah we 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 are uh, teaming up with Razer got a Razer Core X eGPU and it's not only the eGPU uh you also get a card with it and you get a mouse and uh, that's a really good deal uh so it's it's a, over 600 bucks but yeah that can really give you some cool graphics performance for your Mac that's better than what you'll get in the thing and what card uh, are we what card is it or do we know it, it's a it's a radeon i think it's a rx 580 580 yes. four gigabyte okay. and uh so you know it's not the greatest thing it's not like a vega or anything but you can put a vega in there if you want that's the, that's mm-hmm. what's cool about it uh so uh but yeah it, it, that's the other thing it, you can just switch out any card you want to but yeah that, that's live right now and uh so go to macworld.com for that macworld.com yeah. it's right there on the header it's right there on the home page click it and uh you can enter to win uh, there are, of course, rules and regulations. You know, it's only available to uh, U.S. and Canada. U.S. and Canada, except, and for, Canada, Quebec. except for Quebec. So, can, I, Quebec. can employees can employees in? No, no. <laughs> and no employees so, in their families. Yes. Yeah. So, and that contest is going on until I believe the fourteenth. Oh, uh, 
We really prepared well for this. We yeah. really prepared well. I was happy November for November 12th. Yes. So, so yeah, you have 12. some time, but yeah, yeah but you know, days, yeah. enter to win, you know, it's it's uh it's some cool gear that you could could win. So, check that out on our homepage. Uh th that link is always up there, so yes. uh go to it anytime and click it and enter to win. So, and I'll, we'll be sure to mention it in next week's podcast. So, <laughs> there's just so much stuff happening. And yes. it's, it's like I was staring right at it and like just like, oh, <laughs> I should. And then Leif jumped in. So thank you for doing that, Leif. Yes. Uh, but yeah, join us next week uh, for the ne next episode of the Macworld podcast. So I'd like to thank uh, Mike and Jason on the remote. Thanks, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks to life. Happy Halloween. And thanks to Dan, our producer. Yeah. You're welcome. And thanks to you, the audience, for joining us. See you next week.